Hi guys, uh, this is where we left off in the last video, so I'm going to be starting with marking the homework, and then from there we'll continue with the section. Alright, so let's start marking. All of these you need to distribute. Okay, so I'm saying negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. x times x cubed will give me x to the power of 4. Same thing for the next term, so I'm saying negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8. x times x squared will give me x cubed. And then the last one, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And then I just bring that x down. No like terms, so I leave it as it is. That's as simple as the expression is going to get. Number three, I need to distribute um, twice. So I need to distribute the 4 into the first bracket and the negative 2x into the second bracket. So if I do that, 4 times x, 4 times negative 3, that's what I'm going to get. Then same thing for the second bracket. Negative 2x times x will give me negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times negative 4 will give me positive 8x. Then I've got my like terms that you can see in red. If I add those, I'm going to get 12x. Okay, all I've done um, in my final answer is I've written the expression in descending powers of x, so x squared, x to the power of 1, and then no x. That's kind of the format that you like to leave it in. Number 4, x squared times x to the power of 4. I need to add exponents, so I'm going to have x to the power of 6. Number 5, okay, number 5, there's quite a common error that a lot of people make here. They want to subtract first, so they want to say 3 minus 4 gives me minus 1, and then I distribute the minus 1 into the bracket. No, okay, you can't do that because that means you would be doing subtraction before you do multiplication, which obviously we don't do. So I'm first going to distribute, so I'm going to say minus 4 times x, minus 4 times 2. First get that answer, then get my like terms and subtract, which is what you'll get. Cool, so that was the homework. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, otherwise, we are moving on. Please rule off and write the date and the heading, which is Topic 8, Exercise 1. And you can write down the first question. There it is. Um, okay, so this little part on the side here, this means x is not equal to 0 or x cannot be equal to 0. Why can't x be equal to 0? Well, because x is a denominator, right? So if you can imagine there was a 0 there instead of an x, you would tell me that the whole thing is undefined because you can never have 0 in the denominator because then you're dividing by 0, and anything divided by 0 is undefined. So that's, you don't need to worry about that for now. That is just... Um, that's really more of a grade 10 concept, so don't worry about that for now. It's just so that you know that you know x can't be 0 because it's a denominator. Okay, so how are you going to start this off? How would you think about doing it? Would you just say, oh, x cancels with x, and then I've got 3 minus 2 is 1? Okay, if that's what you would have done, then that's not right. Okay, what you need to do is you need to split up the fraction. Why? Because there's two terms on the top here. Okay, if there was only one term at the top, you could have just cancelled. But because there's two terms, I first need to split the fraction up. Okay, so I'm going to say 3x over x minus 2 of x, then I can cancel. x cancels with x, so I'm just left with 3 in the first term. Please copy down number 2, and I'm going to do the same thing, right? So I'm going to split, split up the fraction. So I'm going to say 5x squared over x, negative x, oh, minus x over x plus 3 of x, just like that. And then again, I can start cancelling only now, because now, in this fraction here, I've only got one term in the numerator, so I can cancel. So the x at the bottom cancels with one of these at the top, so I've got 5x on top. There it is there. x over x will just be equal to 1, and then the last term I can't simplify, because 3 over x, nothing cancels. Copy down number 3. Um, if you need to pause the video at any time, then just remember that you can do that. Um, Alright, so number three, I've got brackets, and I know that I always need to simplify my brackets first before I can start kind of splitting things up and cancelling out and all that stuff. So first, distribute. Alright, so I'm first going to say 2x times x, 2x times negative 3, and I'll get my answer. Then I'm going to split up my fraction. Then I can start cancelling out, so 6x cancels with 6x, or, so I'm basically just left with 1, so anything over itself is always equal to 1, 6 goes into itself once, 6 goes into itself once. Then this first fraction here, I can say 
um, 2 over 6 is the same as 1 over 3, and then the x at the bottom will cancel with one of these at the top, so I'm just left with basically 1x over 3 minus 1. Number 4, okay, there's five of these questions, and then I'm going to give you some work to do by yourself. Okay, number 4, I would say stop the video now, <laughs> and um, just try this one by yourself, and see if you can get the answer. So I would say pause, split it all up, that kind of thing, and then see what you get, and then play the video. All right. Okay, so I'm going to split up my fraction. There it is. So I've got negative 2x cubed over negative x plus x squared over negative x minus x over negative x, etc. There's tons and tons of signs here. So I would say first deal with your signs. I've got a negative here divided by a negative, so there I've got a positive. Plus and a minus, a positive and a negative gives me a negative. A negative and a negative gives me a positive, etc. So there I've dealt with all my signs, so everything's a little bit easier to see. Now I can start cancelling. X cancels with one of these X's, so I'm left with 2X squared. Then over here, this X here is going to cancel with one of these X's, so I'm just left with 1X left at the top, so minus X. X over X is equal to 1, minus 9 over X. And that's my final answer. There's no like terms there. And then the last one, number 5. Okay, number 5, I'm dealing with, um, I'm raising to a power. So there's two ways that you could do this. Because I've only got one term in my numerator, I could have just cancelled these x's out immediately. So if you wanted to do that, you could have. Alternatively, you can start by distributing and then only cancel at the end. So I'm going to do it that way. So I need to distribute this 2 to all of, um, basically all of the variables and coefficients inside the bracket. So I distribute to the exponent. So if I look at the exponents, all of them have an exponent of 1. And when I raise an exponent to an exponent, I multiply. So I'm going to say 2 times 1, 2 times 1, 2 times 1, just like that. And to the ones at the bottom. So I'm going to get 3 squared, x squared, y squared, over 4 squared, x squared. The 3 squared and the 4 squared you can simplify. And from there you can cancel out your x squareds to get your final answer. Cool. So that's basically everything. Unfortunately, um, this video doesn't lend itself to asking questions to you guys, but I hope that you are stopping the video and trying it yourself before you're just copying down the answers. Um, for homework, this is the homework, so exercise 8.2, and on the next slide, I'm just going to post a picture of it for those of you that don't have textbooks, so you can just use this slide here. Alright, so there's the questions. If you need them, you're obviously not doing all of them, you're doing the ones that I've, I've put up. All right, so those are the questions. So the, those are the ones I want you to do. That's the exercise. Good luck, and I'll post another video tomorrow.